Continuing in the usual vein of this channel, I'll be aiming to give you as much information and education as possible to help you guys make the best choice when it comes to you having cosmetic procedures or you know if you're contemplating having cosmetic procedures and um, interestingly i have a question from one of our youtube viewers can having downturn corners of the lips make it seem like you have jowls or are they one and the same i don't suffer from rbf but i seem to be dealing with a mouth that seems perpetually sad i would love to see a video based on those little marionettes I actually love this um, topic suggestion because it's something I get asked all the time um, from my patients. It's a very difficult area to treat. So we're talking about here, downturn corners of the mouth, making you look a bit sad, and those marionette folds. So like the puppet, the Jerry G's, um, for those of you who are old enough to know what they are, uh, where the mouth moves up and down and you get a little line there. And often these are called marionette folds or marionette lines. They are something that people just hate and they're so hard to fix. How do we address this problem? Well, let's, let's firstly talk about the causes of these marionette folds and the downturn corners of the mouth. Well, essentially the cause in this case is gravity. And the face is affected by gravity every day. And with time you get downwards and inwards movement of your cheeks and face. And folding over of those cheeks onto this area here gives you marionette folds. The gravity pushing down your lips causes the mouth corners to go downwards. There's also um, the element of volume loss. So not only is it gravity and the skin becoming lax, but volume loss is a big player also. Now, when we're talking about volume loss, we're talking about volume loss of the soft tissues, fat, skin becomes thinner. The other aspect is volume loss of bone. So the mandible becomes thinner and resorbs. So, you know, the worst case is when you have someone who has no teeth or is a dentulous and really you get a lot of um, uh, so resorption of that bone when you lose teeth. One of the other causes of the downturn of the mouth is, you know, constant activation of the downward pulling muscles. Say, for example, um, this muscle here, uh, the depressor angular oris, which depresses the mouth corners. So they're the causes of marionette folds. And that's, and that's why there's, this is so difficult to treat. That's why I'm gonna tell you why I actually don't use filler in those folds. I never go and fill them up because it simply doesn't work. And I'll, I'll get to reason why in a minute. The best fix for these marionette folds is really a facelift. And most of the time, when you're getting significant folds from here to here, you need the pullback, that fixes it. But I would say a very small percentage of my patients want to go through that. You generally get very highly motivated patients wanting the facelift, not necessarily the most aged. And it's not for everyone. It's, you know, it's, it's a lot of downtime. There's more risk uh, than say non-surgical procedures. And you know, when you present the idea of having a facelift to someone, they often don't want to have one. A lot of people ask me also, can I use dermal filler to fill my cheeks and lift the whole face up? Well, you possibly could, but it would take so much filler and your cheeks would have to be so ridiculously large um, that I don't think that's a very feasible option. In fact, I, I personally don't believe that the right amount of filler that you put in the cheeks ever causes much lifting of the lower face, in my personal opinion. Now we're left with a couple of tools in our toolbox and they include anti-wrinkle injections to relax the muscles. Anti-wrinkle injections can be used in the depressor anguli oris which is the muscle which starts in the corner of the mouth and moves down here. And we inject it around here and this stops this expression. Does it do a lot? Not really. To be frank, it doesn't make a huge difference. It stops you making this expression, but really it doesn't stop people's mouth corners from turning down or the marionette folds from um, you know, being present. 
I think if anything, it may have some long-term benefit. If you, know, if you do this every day, it's going to make you look sadder and it's gonna pull those mouth corners down in the long term. But in the short term, I think you get very little benefit um, from this procedure. Now, what about fillers? So what can we do with fillers to help, um, to help sort of alleviate marionette folds or turn mouth corners up? Well, firstly, um, let's talk about marionette folds because this is the presenting complaint of many, many people. Um, I, I, I must admit, I used to, you know, fill those folds there. I like a good doctor, I'd, I'd listen to my patients, they'll tell me about their concerns, and I'd go in with some fillers and I'd fill it up for them, you know, because that's what they wanted and I was obliging. Um, so I would do that for them. But you know what? They paid their money, um, they had the treatment done, and they never really saw that much of a huge difference. So what do we do? Naturally, we, um, we, we put some more in. So, you know, they came back, we gave them a free top up because, um, you know, they weren't happy. So we put some more in and uh, they still weren't that happy. They still saw the marionette folds. And, and, you know, I used to continue that, keep filling and filling and filling until they look so full and, 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 and thick there that it would look just terrible. It didn't really still get rid of their folds, but they had all this filler stuff in there and you know the fold might have shifted a bit outward because of the filler pushing the skin outwards, but the folds were still there because they needed a lift and, and we weren't doing that. We were just filling the area. And the other thing is, you know, um, it, it totally distorted the shape of their face. They started getting thicker around the bottom part of their face instead of um, having the useful shape, of which is fullness in the cheeks and thinness and sharpness around the jawline. I stopped this uh, practice after some time and I started resetting patients' expectations um, to tell them that we really can't fill this area, this marionette fold. You know, it's not something that will go away unless you go have a facelift. What I did instead was turn my attention back to what really makes people look good. And that is focusing on shape and contour. So if you look at someone's face from far away, you sort of get an idea how old they are. Within five years, I reckon, you can, you can estimate. Anyone can do it. Um, and the reason for that is we see from a distance their shape, their facial shape, and we know how old they are from that. The problem is a lot when people come in to see me is that they become obsessed with lines, wrinkles and folds. For example, you know, a little upper lip line, a fold here, frown line, crow's feet. But fixing them doesn't necessarily make you look that much better. What really makes you look younger or better is improving facial shape and contour. Hairdressers are amazing at this. They cut your hair and shape it to give you the ideal facial shape. For example, if you have hollow temples, they're gonna put some hair across there. If you have a wide jawline, they may say, if you're a female, give you a bit of a bob um, or hair that covers your jawline, for example, like Jennifer Aniston. One of the reasons why patients often focus on lines and wrinkles and folds, because we can only see ourselves in two dimensions, in a photo, in a mirror. But when I look at someone else, I can see them in three dimensions. So it makes sense that we actually focus on the three-dimensional contours and shape of people rather than lines and wrinkles. Now, now what I do, I explain this to my patients and I tell them I'm not gonna get rid of the marionette folds, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna improve the overall shape of that area. And what we need to do to do so is actually to do two things. We need to improve the shape of the mouth and we need to improve the shape and contour of the jawline. So how do we do this? So firstly, we can put in some fillers right in the corners of the mouth. And that's it, right up there, right in the corner. So what we need to do is pop those corners forward. And we do that with filler here. So a bit of filler here, a bit of filler there, just a tiny bit, it doesn't take much at all. And it pops those corners forward, supports the lower lip, and gives you a more upwards turned mouth corner. But the marionette folds are still there. The other thing that I do in combination with this is shape the jawline. So we, I put some filler just along the jawline here and here. What we do, we lower this part just adjacent to the chin and give you a straight jawline. 
And that in combination with film fillers in the mouth corners gives you the best result in my opinion. I don't feel marionette lines anymore. Please let us know in the comments section if there's anything you'd like us to do videos on or any topics you like covered and we'll do our best to um, make this the most educational channel about non-surgical procedures out there on YouTube.